Hi friends welcome to tech blog and in this video, I wanna show you how to configure vhost on Ubuntu. In order to do this, we need to pre-install LAMP server. To show how to set up LAMP, click on below link that appears on the screen. Virtual hosting is a method for hosting multiple domain names, with separate handling of each name, on a single server or pool of servers. This allows one server to share its resources, such as memory and processor cycles, without requiring all services provided to use the same host name. As you can see I have installed LAMP on my Ubuntu 17.04. All are working fine, here you can see Apache, PHP, Miskel. Now what we have to do. First, create users for vhost. So get back to your terminal, and create user A, and user B, use the command, sudo user a m user A. After that create a directory, under the user a directory with name public html. And similarly, do the same for user B. You can see the directory, which I have created in File Explorer. Basically it's empty. So what we have to do? Create a HTML file, and write some markup text, to understand, which vhost it's represent for both of user. So get back to your terminal, and create a file named, index.html. I am using nano editor to do this. Write some markup as you want to represent your vhost. Do same for user B, then press Ctrl X and Y to save the file. Now go to your Apache directory, followed by cd slash etc slash Apache 2. Here you find a directory site available. Go ahead and enter into this directory. You will find a default configuration file, named triple zero default config. Now what you have to do. Copy that file for your both user. Just use the cp command, create two files as the name of your user. In my case it's user.config and userb.config. Now go ahead, and add or change the following line. The document root is your public HTML directory. By default for Apache, it is for triple W, so we need to change the document root, as per our requirement. Here in our case, it's home then specific user, then public HTML. Server name is your domain name and server admin is your admin email for that particular domain. You can leave it as usual or set yours.
For all symlinks means, if a directory is a symbolic link, then Apache follow the link. Allow override directive, is used to allow the use of .ht access within the web server, to allow overriding of the Apache config on a per directory basis. Require all granted means, no IP address is blocked, from accessing the service. Do the same for user B. Now you have to enable, both of site by using command, a2 and site then your config name. Do the same for user B. Now you have to reload your Apache, and then restart. It's required authentication, put your sudo password and go ahead. Oops, there is something wrong with the syntax. Let's find the error in lock. Yep, there is an error at line no 17 in config file. Let's check. It should be options instead of option. Now restart your Apache. Here you can see Apache status, yay. It works. Now it's time to identify, your domain in a local environment. Go ahead and add a record, for your domain at localhost. Do the following. Now get back to your browser, and type your domain name. 
In my case it is www.user.com and www.userb.com. You can see the page is served from the host user A, similarly, you can see for user B, serve its own page. You can see all are doing well. Thanks for watching this video. If there is any query leave a comment in comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe us. Have a good day, bye bye.